Number five, the Columbine high school shooting. All right, before I start this one, I'm not gonna give too much information on what happened, just because I do wanna do a separate video on them as requested, but here's a little bit of information on what happened. April 20th, 1999, high school seniors Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold placed a small firebomb in a field three miles away from Columbine High School. It was set to explode at 11.14. As they arrived at the school at 11.10, the bomb failed to explode. Around 11.19, they made their way to the cafeteria. A girl by the name of Rachel Scott was having lunch with her friend, Richard Costaldo. While sitting on the grass, Dylan and Eric threw a bomb, which partly detonated. They thought it was a prank because it was almost the end of the year and teenagers were pulling pranks around this time. Eric yelled, go, 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 as they pulled the guns from their trench coats and began firing at Rachel four times. She died instantly. Richard was shot eight times and was paralyzed. They moved their way into the school, headed to the library and killed 10 people, wounding 11. Once police arrived, they ended up having a shootout that lasted about 46 minutes before Dylan and Eric went back to the library, sat next to each other, and Dylan yelled, one, two, three, before they killed themselves. They ended up killing 15 people and injuring 24. Number 4. UT Tower Shooting On August 1st, 1966, a 25-year-old man by the name of Charles Whitman, who was a former Marine, stabbed his mother and his wife before grabbing his rifles and heading to the University of Texas. Around 11.25 he arrived, he headed to the main towers and found elevators that did not work. An employee by the name of Vera Palmer activated it for him. Whiteman thanked Palmer and stated, you don't know how happy that makes me. Exiting on the 27th floor, he hauled a dolly full of equipment up a flight of stairs to a hallway. He ran into a receptionist by the name of Edna Townsley. He knocked her to the floor, splitting her head wide open with the rifle before dragging her behind a couch. Two men entered the reception area. One of the men noticed the guns, assumed he was just shooting pigeons. Whiteman smiled and said, hi, how are you? As they casually went down the elevator, he then pushed his desk across the entrance from the stairway. Around 11.45, a man with his wife and their two sons visiting their daughter, Margaret Lamport, and her husband, William Lamport. They climbed the stairs to the 27th floor and noticed Whiteman had put a desk in front of the entrance. Their sons tried to squeeze past. Whiteman noticed and came forward and began firing his shotgun, hitting one of the boys in the shoulder and the other one in the head, then began firing downstairs. He then went in the back of the room and shot Edna Townsley in the head. At 11.48, Whiteman began snipering people, even killing a pregnant woman and her unborn son. Police heard the gunshots but mistook the shots for noise from a nearby construction site. Four minutes after Whiteman began shooting, a history teacher called the police. An off-duty officer by the name of Ramiro Martinez was at home when he heard about the shooting. He was instructed to direct traffic, but once he arrived, he saw cops already doing that. So he headed to the 27th floor and found only three cops as they gestured to the observation desk and said he's out there. Martinez was the first to go to the observation desk. Around 124, while Whiteman was looking south for the source of the rifle, Martinez and McCoy rounded to the, the northeast corner of the observation desk. Martinez fired at Whitman with his revolver, missing, and McCoy hit Whiteman twice with his shotgun. Martinez then took McCoy's shotgun from him, having emptied out his own weapon, fired the final shot into Whiteman point-blank range. In the immediate aftermath, Martinez was nearly shot himself by those on the ground who did not realize that Whiteman was dead. He ended up killing 18 people and injuring 31. Martinez and McCoy were awarded the Medals of Valor by the city of Austin. Number 3. Stone Douglas High School This one I'm not going to give too much information on because I already made a video on him. If you want to check it out, the link will be on the top right hand corner of the video. But here's a little bit of information on the Stone Douglas shooting. Ten. My goal is at least 20 people with an AR-15 and a couple trace rounds. I think I can do a good done. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. It's gonna be a big event. And when you see me on the news, you'll all know who I am. <laughs> You're all going to die. Pew, 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 pew. Can't wait. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go take an Uber in the afternoon before 2.40. From there, I'll go into the onto school campus, walk up the stairs, unload my bags, 
and get my AR and shoot people down at the main was it the main courtyard await and people will die once he arrived at stone douglas around 219 he went to the east side of the building and started loading up his guns a freshman by the name of chris mckinnon noticed him he started to take the bullets and load in the gun i froze he then said to me get out of here it's gonna start getting messy where was he loading his gun on the stairwell, the bottom stairwell. He took it out of like a gun case that kind of looked like a guitar case. Why do you think he spared you? I don't think he was fully reloaded yet. I don't think his bullets were in. Once he was done loading up his guns, Cruz then set off the fire alarm, shooting into four classrooms. He then takes the stairwell down to the second floor, shoots another student. As the school goes on lockdown, students take cover into the classroom. Some of the students jump fences to a nearby Walmart. 12 people were killed inside the building. Two outside the building, one in the street, and two others died at the hospital. Once Cruz gets to the fourth floor, he drops his backpack and his rifle, runs downstairs and exits the building. Around 2.28, Cruz leaves the building and begins blending in with the students. The shooting lasted about six minutes. He ended up going to a nearby Walmart and buys a drink at a subway, and then walks to a nearby McDonald's, orders a burger, eats it, and leaves. A lot of the students identify the shooter as Nicholas Cruz. Once he gets out of the McDonald's, he walks out and a coconut police officer spots him. Notice he fits the suspect in the description and approaches Nicholas and arrests him. He ends up killing 17 people and injuring another 17. Number 2. Sandy Hook Elementary December 14, 2012, sometime before 9.30 a.m., Adam Lanza shot his mother four times in the head before heading to Sandy Hook Elementary in his mom's car. Once he arrived, he shot his way through a glass panel. Some of the faculty members heard the gunshots and yelled, Shooter, stay put. A math teacher and a school janitor heard the gunshots and yelled, put down the guns. Lanza began shooting, killing two of the teachers, but the janitor survived. But the principal was the first to be hit in the leg and again in the chest and died. A nine-year-old boy stated that the shooter was yelling, put your hands up. A kindergarten teacher began when he started shooting. He ended up shooting her in the foot, but never entered her classroom. Lanza entered the main office, but apparently did not see the people hiding and returned into the hallway. Lanza then entered a first grade classroom where a substitute teacher by the name of Lauren Rosu tried to hide her kids in the bathroom as Lanza forced his way to the classroom and began firing, killing 14 of the children and one injured but died at the hospital. A six-year-old girl who was the only survivor was later found by the police. It was later revealed that she survived because she stayed still and played dead. A girl hiding in the bathroom with two teachers said she heard the boy yelling, help me, I don't want to be here. To which Lanza responded, well, you're here, followed by gunshots. Lanza went to a first grade classroom, walked to the back of the classroom, saw children hiding under the desk, and began shooting, killing Soto, who was a teacher. First because she had put herself in front of the students. Once Lanza was shooting his gun, his gun jammed. Six students were able to get away, but five students were killed in Mrs. Soto's classroom. Around 9.40, the police arrived, and Lanza put a Glock 20 SF to his head and killed himself before a shootout could happen. He ended up killing 28 people, including himself, and injuring two. Number 1. Virginia Tech Massacre 100 billion chances in the ways to have avoided today, but you decided to spill my blood. You forced me into a corner and gave me only one option. The decision was yours. Now you have blood on your hands that will never wash off. On April 16, 2007, around 7.15, Su Ho Chao, who was an undergrad student, and also was from South Korea, shot and killed two students on the fourth floor of West Ambler Johnston Hall. Within two and a half hours, Chow returned to his room to rearm himself. He then mailed a package to the NBC News in which it contained pictures and video files and documents. Around 9.45, he goes to Norris Hill classroom and, and began to chain and lock the main doors so they couldn't get out. Going into room to room, shooting the students on campus, where in a span of nine minutes, he killed 30 people on the campus. Once police arrived, Chow puts the gun to his head and shoots. The gun wound destroyed his face so bad that they had to use his fingerprints to identify the body. He ended up killing 33 people, including himself, and injuring 25. I didn't have to do this. I could have left. I could have fled. But no, I will no longer run. If not for me, for my children, for my brothers and sisters, the chief I did it for them. 
all right guys if you liked the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you like the content go ahead and subscribe if there's anybody else you'd like me to do next go ahead and comment down below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video